long overdue but here i am and i am ready to show you a very easy like very like you know just told diy that you can do at home with some old um some old clothes so today i wanted to because i've got like this pair of sweatpants that i really do not like the color of and i've been struggling to just like I've been struggling. I've literally sorry. I just got a message from my mom. I just, <laughs> but I've been struggling to like wear it. I don't like the color. I used to like the color when I was in high school. It still fits me, lo and behold. So I really just want to switch it up and change the style, just so that I can actually wear it. And I do want to wear it. You know, I don't want to give it away. It's still good quality. You guys, factory sweat pants are it. They are literally it. They're always sold out. But when you get yourself, like when you get your hands on a pair. It is honestly the best thing that you could ever do for yourself so I'm gonna show you guys today how to make this combo um, we're gonna be doing sweatshorts and a scrunchie to match and I think this is so cool especially like because we're all in the house anyway so you can't really complain about the cold because well you're in the house um, so on a warm winter's day this is such a nice alternative to wearing um, sweat uh, pants and having your sweat shorts in, 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 uh, in hand and having them out here is really gonna be really cool you know we we still trying to be stylish even though we like in the house and shit so yeah guys um please do not forget to subscribe to the channel like this video if you like it and please keep in touch everywhere else without further ado let me show you how to make this amazing combo okay so for this tutorial i'm going to obviously use a pair of the sweatpants that i was telling you guys about um i can actually kind of see now in the light it is kind of aged so this is kind of cool before i say goodbye to this pair i'm going to cut it up and this is so nice because it is uh unisex um i find a lot of people like coming to me and being like dude like you don't do diys for guys and you guys don't even understand it is so difficult to do diys for like guys especially like if you aren't really familiar with styling guys like yeah it's just a mission but also it is such a mission only like to get diys for just girls as well that are doable because i find a lot of the times like okay cool we want to make this we want to make that but like it needs to be obviously accessible and really easy or followable like it needs to be be you need to be able to do it basically but anyway so this is a nice one because we can all kind of get in on this action. Obviously the scrunchie, if you have a man bun, get in on the action. If you don't, listen, I, yeah, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so what I'm going to use is obviously my sweats. And then I'm going to obviously need um, um, a small piece of elastic. It's like, I don't know how much, how many centimeters this could be. Like maybe 20, but I don't know, yeah. But it's quite small. Um, and then I am gonna need thread. You actually don't really need like the same color thread. I'm just like, yeah, the better. It's better if you use the same color thread, um, just because it makes it neater. If you do like an ugly job, it just you can't see it obviously because the thread is kind of camouflaged in the color of the fabric. I'm gonna use a pair of scissors, and then I'm also going to need pins. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to step away a bit, and I'm gonna kind of measure how short I want my pants. I think because these are sweatpants, we want to go for a laid back vibe. All right, guys, so now I have done my measuring. Here it is. I'm pretty short, so. <laughs> but okay, so I've done the measuring, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to straighten. I'm going to use, I'm going to do one side at a time. This is just makes it easier. It just makes it easier. I don't want to make mistakes. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use that line. And you can ac actually just use a ruler for this. It's just. You know me and rulers, me and doing things properly. So basically, we're gonna do that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our pair of scissors and we're gonna cut here. And then once we're done cutting the one side, just make sure everything is flat. Usually use a pin because it's just easier that way. Um, and as you can see, I kind of drew the line. Um, I kind of gave myself more allowance just in case there's like mistakes. And also, I always say like use a pair of very sharp scissors. This just helps because it like makes everything polished without you having to like cut seams and blah 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 blah. 
So yeah, now that we've done the one side, what we're going to do is we're going to take the side and use it to measure out to the other side and cut accordingly so that everything is kind of straight. Um, I'd rather do this than kind of draw a line on both sides. It just makes sure that we get like equal size across everything so that you're not wearing a pair of pants that's just like very skew. You don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to cut along here. And now that I think about it, what you can actually do is kind of work with your pants inside out so that when you do make markings, it doesn't really need to go for a wash after because this is clean and now because of this, I might just have to put it in the wash, you know. So if you want to, you can just make this inside out and work from it, work on it from the inside so that when you do put it like the right side out, it's clean and <laughs> you can wear it like immediately. So I'm just going to cut over here and then our pants is basically done, you know, which is great. <laughs> is a little bit skew and now what we're gonna do all right so as you can see I'm done with the shorts and what I've done is gone and like folded it like that as you can see I like that cuff vibe and what I've noticed is also if you are going to have like if you want to do the cuff vibe like a permanent thing then what I suggest you do is when you measure out like how long you want your um, your shorts to be to give yourself a little bit more you know like give yourself more like give yourself allowance you know so cut like an extra five centimeters just so that you have a nice fold and that your pants are still like a nice length so yeah but that's all it is with this pants. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do the scrunchie. For people who don't want to do the scrunchie, I suggest that you put these aside because I swear to you, I'm going to find something that we can make. Okay, so because we want to sever every bit of our, our fabric, we're going to cut carefully just so... Oh wow, someone wants to be part of my YouTube video. <laughs> next door neighbor's dog but anyway so what we're gonna do is i'm just gonna literally cut like a bit um of this i'm gonna do it neatly because obviously you know don't make it un don't make it untidy so you can use this fabric like somewhere else sometime you know put that away and we're gonna be working with this bit what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let's just cut this open um, my scrunchie is going to be small because I literally, I don't want, you know scrunchies that are so big that they don't even do their job and I feel like because this is just like for make me look nice, we're literally just gonna make it like really like cute, not too like puffy, just like you know enough to do its job. Okay so, um... When I measure with my elastic, it seems like only one side of this is going to be enough. So what you're going to do is, I would suggest you put your elastic along the along your the piece of fabric that you've cut, and then kind of measure and see how much you're going to need. And as you can see, like what I'm going to do is I'm seen so I'm just going to cut over here and then leave that excess. What you can do with that excess is kind of make another one if you want. Or you could just leave it for another day. Like this is a perfectly good piece of fabric. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this piece and we're going to fold it. This is this is the outside, by the way. So we're going to fold the outside inward. And we're going to basically expose the inside bit of the pants. And what we're going to do is we're going to... So, so we're going to sew down there. If you're using glue, you'll be gluing down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to do that. Um, okay, my phone started doing weird things. But we are back. We are back. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this bit of um, this elastic. And I'm going to attach it. Wait, where are we? Okay, so I'm basically going to attach it to this part of... Um, 
You guys should definitely ask my device why it's being so weird. But anyway, so I'm just going to attach this to this. I'm going to sew it here, make it very secure. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it the right way out so that this is inside. So that's what I'm going to do now. Uh, I'm going to just take my pin and I'm going to go ahead and do that quick and make sure that it's secure. And yeah, you can use glue for this, but I actually suggest that you sew it down. And you can just use a normal running stitch to do this. And yeah, whatever you do, just make sure you are making it as secure as possible. Okay, so now that this is out of the way and we have sewn it and it's secure, what we're going to do is now we're going to work our way and make this inside out again. I mean, out, yeah, in, uh, outside in again. And I'm just going to do this a difficult way. There's always like new ways. We always find new ways of doing this thing. But honestly speaking, I'm just going to go ahead and take my time and kind of bring the outside back to the outside. Um, I'm sure there is some very smart person out there that knows how to do this to the satisfaction of time. <laughs> I don't even know what I just said. But yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and continue doing this until everything is right way back. Back to the right way. Okay, so now that we're done, I've made it like the right way out and the elastic is inside. Um, the method we used is just supposed to make it as easy, just as easy as possible to get it inside. And the elastic is somewhere over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the elastic out. Oh. Let me use my pinky. I'm going to take the elastic out and I'm just going to gently pull it out. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do that and look at what happens. I'm getting a scrunchie, guys. I'm getting a scrunchie. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> okay. So I've got quite the scrunchie going on here. All right, so obviously now I'm done. I told you guys I don't want mine to be too long. So I'm going to settle with this. I've pulled this out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew along here and close it up. And then I'm going to kind of make my mini little scrunchie. And then I'll be done. You guys, we are finished. I'm so excited to try these on. Like little Pontonomo scrunchie that I could have made bigger. But I'm really okay with because like... I've got like really flat weaves which don't need like massive um like massive ponytails so I'm really happy with this. Let me try it on. Let me try it on. Let me try it on. Let me try it on.